What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Myoji and I've been getting some requests to do a solo auto stage 10 Orochi soul stage 10 auto alone so yeah what we're gonna the reason why people are requesting for that is because maybe they have like unreliable guild members or they don't have no friends or they have like separate time zones you know where people are not active during that time so it could be a plethora of reasons um, nothing to it like and also at the same time like if you build a, a solo team by yourself you can also like easily carry people along so I'm gonna share with you guys what we need we would need the first thing we need is Seimei Seimei with totem level 36 minimum 36 because um, his stats enhance every five levels after level one meaning level 6 level 11 level 16 so on and so forth so at level 36 he would have a minimum of plus 28 speed all right so the skills that you want equipped on him would be um, spell star which is the attack buff which lasts for three turns and gives a 30 percent increase in damage and protect protect is a barrier uh that absorbs damage equal to 40 percent of the on Myoji's hp which is pretty good so yeah uh totem level 36 minimum 40 ideal semi level the higher the level the semi the higher the stats would be this these are the stats for a level 60 semi right Moving on, we would need uh, two R-rated Shikis, which is Bunny and Zashiki. Alright, if you do not want to use Bunny, you can also use Kamikoe. I've seen a lot of teams using Kamikoe. Kamikoe, uh, it's like a reverse Bunny. So once you evolve Kamikoe, he has the skill, which is AoE um, knockback attack bar. So instead of speeding your guys up, you are knocking back the attack bar of the opponents, right? So the bunny, the turn order would be bunny moves first, then Seime, then your first DPS, second DPS, and then your Zashiki, and finally you have your third DPS. Well, you don't really need the third DPS, you can put a healer, it would also work. You, you can put Momo, you can put Shuzu, whatever it is, it will also work. But having a DPS would probably be better. Now let's look at the stats for bunny. Bunny stats... Minimum 161 speed. Uh, I have her here at 178. Doesn't matter because I just put on some random souls. As long as it's on Fortune Cat. All right. Once if you have Fortune Cat, that'd be great. Um, these stats are nothing. Actually, let, let me see whether I can like change stuff up. Never mind. Forget it. I'll, I'll do that another time around. So 6k HP minimum. Fortune Cat 161 speed. That's all you need. If possible, you want Bunny Dance to be maxed. All right. After that would be Zashiki. Uh, I put her in the turn order. I put her in the fourth turn order, I think. Yeah, because it, it's um, Bunny moves first, then Seimi, then first DPS, second DPS. Bunny, Seimi, first DPS, second DPS. I, I put Zashiki in the fifth slot. All right, so just to replenish um, orbs. All right, I have an Azure set. Uh, it's just some random souls I put Azure and uh, I have a 122 speed so that she moves slightly slower than my second DPS who I have Utengu here at 123 speed. Let's have a look at the stats on Ibaraki. These are not my usual stats for him. This is the stats that I did purposely for this video. He only has uh, 100 and plus 130% attack. He's got 127 speed, meaning that he will move slightly before, slightly, uh, he will move right after Seimei. 112% crit rate and 187% crit rate. So as you can see, these stats, they're not OP at all. I don't even have skill ups. They're just uh, stats so that I can get him to move under Seimei. Because if not, my, my usual one would be too fast and it's a bit unreliable. Because uh, moving forward though, if you can have a 100% crit rate and you have a crit damage build, meaning like a crit damage soul on slot 6, that will be more ideal. Um, you can have him moving before Seimei and that will make, speed up your run even more because then you don't have to go through the animation of Seimei. You know, Ibaraki can just one shot. Like after Bunny dances, Ibaraki one shots. Alright? After that, I have my Otengu. My Otengu runs at 123 speed, 102 crit rate, 211 crit damage, plus 140% attack. Right? He runs Seductress. Ibaraki ran Shadow. Then it was. Um, what was it there? It was Zashiki. So it's Bunny, Ibaraki, Otengu, Zashiki, and then the last one will be Lord Arakawa. 
ignore his souls these are just some things that i put up so that he will move last if i put his usual souls he will move way faster than than uh, utengu etc so yeah let's have a have a look at how the run goes okay before before we go look at the run i can just say that you don't have to have ibaraki no utengu you know you can run double ubume or you know double aoe as long as it's two aoe dps it will work i just happen to have Ibaraki and Utengu, so I'm, I'm going to use this strategy. Uh, if you have any other Shikigamis, they would also work. All right, and for the fifth slot, again, as I mentioned before, you don't have to have a DPS. You can put Chuzu in there, you can put Momo in there, you can put anyone, as long as they move last. You know, they're just there to fill in the space. So let's have a look and see. Hopefully, this team is going to. Uh, hopefully, the team works well. Well, actually, the, the team works well, you know. It's fine, I can carry people with this team. With Ibaraki though, you have to target. So I usually target the right hand side. So yeah, if, if I had him skilled up, I probably... Do not have a need for the second DPS to move in the first two waves. But yeah, because I don't have him skilled up, it is how it is. As you can see, Arakawa's damage is insignificant. Like, he doesn't even need to be there. Right, I average about 50 to 55 seconds. The longest run took about one minute and four seconds. Well, let's try and do it again. See whether the team is reliable or not. Oh, another reason why people say Kamikoi is because when you use Kamikoi, you don't actually have to target you know, the target the right one with Ibaraki. You know, you can just leave it be on 100% auto and it will work. But yeah, because I'm using Bunny, we still have to target. Lucky there with uh, Ibaraki being stunned, but it's still paying up. So yeah, 50, 55 seconds average, 53 seconds there. Right, so this is the team that I created for Solar Run. I will be doing uh, teams for Sogan B, which will be, I think, Foolery next. Where is that? Yeah, we'll be doing Sogan B. I, I don't have any scrolls for Greed nor Anger. So I'll do some foolery teams and we'll, we'll discuss the mechanics of the dungeon. And after that, I'll also share some totem teams with y'all uh, in the next coming few videos. Just let me have like a few more days to research my stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, that was the team. If uh, you found this video helpful, do leave a like, comment and subscribe. If not, do comment. And this is Zaf signing out then. Till next time, guys.